Today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite way to beat man coverage out of trips tight in formations. And specifically, we're going to be using the play PA slot corner. This is in the Packers playbook or the Patriots playbook. It's in both. And if you want to get my entire trips tight in offensive ebook, I want you to join the Patreon. Okay, it will make you a better Madden player. The link's going to be down in the description. It gets you access to all of the ebooks, all the updates, everything in there. So here's the setup. We are going to drag our tight end and our inside trips receiver, and we're going to wheel our running back. Now, a couple different options to you, but what I like to do the most is we're going to motion this guy in, but we're going to block him on this side of the field. And the reason why is because it's going to cause this man switch, and it's going to cause this man switch on the left side. As you saw right there, we got a little bit of a man switch. So this will help you beat send five. So if they are sending five at you, uh, you are going to typically be able to pick this up with this motion block. So you see here, we get the motion block, and then we get the running back out in space, and this wheel route will absolutely, if you can juke, um, juke is obviously the best ball carrier move in Madden 24, you can really get a big play out of this. It's very effective, and the user is essentially going to have to respect the fact that you are running this play. They're going to have to go to the running back off rip. I'll show you what happens here if we motion them over in this area. And I actually didn't get him blocked. Um, so I'll show that to you again. But basically, again, the idea is just motion blocking the receiver will give you time enough to hit your quick dots, uh, regardless of what they're going to do with their pressures. Okay, just a basic motion block here. We're going to snap the ball right about here. Now look at your running back. You see we're getting those man switching, and then we're getting this post route over the middle of the field, which is one of the best ways to beat man coverage this year. That post route will consistently beat man coverage. I think it's, I actually think it's one of the more consistent routes in the game. So from a user perspective, we have to climb with our user to go take the post route. What that leaves is it leaves these underneath drag routes uh, to attack man coverage. So you see here's their tight end, and he's going to attack man coverage to the sideline over the middle. And then your inside trips receiver is also really effective uh, for attacking this. And again, this is against the Sin 5. We'll talk a little bit about once they start to adjust zones, how you can kind of slightly tweak the play. But you'll see here your inside trips receiver really effective uh, for being able to attack man coverage as well. So you've got your running back quick, you've got your two drag routes late, you've got your post route. So what are they going to do to stop you? Well, the easiest thing they're going to probably do is a defense that looks something like this. And um, th this is a really, really good way to defend this. So this is where I like to go to an alternate setup where we are going to go to a setup that looks like this. It looks exactly the same. But now what we're going to be able to do is use that whip route to pull those flats out of the, out of the way. And then we can throw our post over the middle and we can throw this, this uh, zig. Now on this specific setup, you're noticing that we're getting kind of some, some weird zone play from that corner over there. So what you wanna do to basically like solve that problem is you're just going to continue to motion him across. So just by continuing to motion him across here, now your running back Texas route is gonna be able to be more consistent for you um, over the middle against man-to-man -man coverage. The user has to go with the post right there. The mid read didn't show that as well. Let me go back to it and uh, and I'll show it to you again. If it's not a mid read on the field, then, you know, like I said, we're trying to imitate the user going to the post. So the user takes the post and then your whip or your Texas route is going to be wide open and you've got a lot of grass for your running back to work. So it's a great way to use a mesh concept and then combine that with a, you know, more traditional shallow cross uh, type of concept, a really more slant post uh, in terms of how that's going to work. So th this is going to be a really good way to kind of counter your mesh routes if they're if they're not there for you you could go to something like this and uh, have a little bit more success you can also if you want to leave your running back blocked you could leave your running back blocked and then you can use a motion slant uh look at that motion slant that is that is just textbook that is just textbook ea right there motion slant decides he's not interested in running his route so he just kind of goes plays with the uh the defense there you go so um Anyway, the motion slant typically will run his route. I don't know why he didn't there. Um, but anyway, you've got that, and then you've got your whip route, and then my man Frank Gore, 71 overall, still getting open on that post. And, uh, yeah, this is a really good way to attack man coverage. Again, understand, they have to fundamentally, they have to use her the post. So because they have to fundamentally use her the post, motion snaps like this are really going to open up your entire offense, and uh, you're going to be able to hit your post. And then you also are going to have things like your running back wheel late. 
And then, as I said, if they're giving you this, they have to give you this specific defense right here to stop you. So what does this specific defense leave open, right? Well, it leaves open the Texas pattern. It leaves open the slant route. It leaves open, um, you know, deep post routes over the middle of the field. It re, it, there's a lot of vulnerabilities uh, to this specific defense. You just have to get them into it and then work out of it with some other concepts. Uh, this defense that I just showed you that, again, a lot of people will run. Let's say they run something like this. Uh, this is very vulnerable to a setup that looks, you know, maybe something like this. This kind of setup is very vulnerable to that because the user is going to be in no man's land. And then this, we know this crosser is probably the best man beater in Madden. So uh, really, really good stuff from the Tripside information. If you guys want to get my entire uh, Tripside in offensive ebook, I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description below. But make sure that you're using these wheel routes. Make sure you're using this mesh concept. I think the mesh concept is one of the most underrated concepts because it consistently every the routes consistently beat man. So if they're sending five or even six at you in man to man coverage, then you go to something like this and they're no longer going to be able to, to live and die by the send five. And also take a look at this real quick. We're going to get that running back mismatched on that corner and he could potentially get you over the top for a one play score as well. So there's a lot of things uh, with this defense that make it really good. Uh, I'll show you one last little thing. So again, you can get some man switches with this guy right here. Um, so if you motion him to the right side, sometimes it'll put this corner. This corner will go into man coverage on him, and he'll be underneath him. Uh, actually, it didn't happen right there, which is fine. Uh, we can always hit our post. But anyway, some stuff you can mess with with motion snapping on the trips. Whenever you're playing man coverage in trips, it is always really smart to use these motion snaps because it creates different types of man swaps that uh, can really leave them vulnerable to a lot of stuff that you can do offensively, right? So very good little man beater here out of trips and uh, something I would definitely recommend because mesh every single year is one of the best man beaters. And this year, especially because of how good these drag routes are over the middle, being able to beat man, but also to a degree, being able to beat the majority of zone defenses you're going to face makes the mesh concept an extremely versatile uh, route combo this year. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And if you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description below.